So how do you get testimonials from clients to help you grow your business? In this video, I'm going to show you how to go and ask your clients for testimonials so that you can grow your online fitness business. Hey, Lee Constantin here, the founder of Online Coaches Elite and Personal Trainers Elite. So I'm going to give you five tips to help you boost your online fitness business by getting testimonials because they are one of the most powerful marketing resources that you can use to get more attention for more people and therefore grow your fitness coaching business. So you really want to be getting these if you want to grow your online fitness business through your marketing channels because they are the best thing you ever use to showcase what you do, right? So make the conscious effort to do these things and overcome that fear or that awkwardness that you might have right now thinking about asking because it really is the only thing holding you back. And that takes me on to the first tip, which is this, just ask, right? There is nothing, no shame, nothing wrong with asking your clients who are going through your program for a testimonial. Now, the caveat to that is they have to be happy with the experience, right? They have to be enjoying what they're doing. But if you do not ask, you do not get, right? It's a quite simple rule in life. So overcome whatever fears or awkwardness you might have about it because a lot of the time you'd be surprised at how open and willing people are to want to share their results with others because it makes them feel good and if you position it in a way and let them know that this is to help and inspire other people rather than it's to help me grow my business and make more money they're going to be more open to doing it so it's not what you say it's how you say it and as long as you're positioning it in a way that is going to inspire other people they would like to help your business because that's what they would like to do as well and um, they will be cool with you asking them because there's nothing wrong with it even though they've paid you money so just ask is my very first tip for you the second way you can get testimonials is to set up an automated email sequence once somebody signs up with you so somebody signs up with you in your program and they're working with you for 12 weeks or so, you really wanna have some automated emails going out every week to keep them accountable and on track on their journey. Now, of course, you're gonna have some personal touch points as well, but these emails are automated so that they remind you and them to do certain things in the program, whether it's to make sure they check in, make sure that they're sticking to X, Y, and Z, and also to ask them for a testimonial. You can schedule one after a month, after eight weeks and the end of the program. Anytime you want, you can just schedule it in an email and just ask them. Same thing, if you're uncomfortable with asking them verbally, you can put it in an email and just put a PS. Hey, if you'd be open to doing a testimonial, I'd really love to jump on a video and, and talk about your results so far. Would you be up for that? There's nothing wrong with doing that. And if it's in an email, after you've given them some tips and lots of help, and they're really happy with their experience, most of the time they'll be cool with it. So if you haven't got something like that in place, I highly recommend you do that. We can do this inside our OCE platform where we can actually build out entire automated sequences for your existing clients so that when they sign up, they get text messages, emails, everything on autopilot so that you never forget to do things like this. If you want to have access to our platform and give it a try, we can get, you could try 14 days for free there's a link in the description below and you can go and build out your own automation sequence for your clients and a billion other things that you could do to help grow your business. So I highly recommend you do that, whether you do that with our OC platform or another way. And again, just ask for the testimonial in a PS after week four or the end of the program when they would have significantly better results. The third thing you can do is schedule a graduation call or an interview after their program. And I like to call it the graduation call because it's kind of like they've graduated from your program, they're moving on to new things, new heights, and it's a time to reflect on the experience working with you, but also a chance for you to ask them some questions and use the time to get some uh, marketing material to help you grow your business. So going on these calls, they really appreciate it because you're giving them some one-on-one -on -one time if you have a group coaching program and you are asking questions to find out about their experience and how they found it so that they could share it, so you could then share that as a result. And then you gain their permission to use that testimonial, to use what they've said in your marketing. And you really wanna do that upfront when they sign up for your program. You wanna make sure they've signed an agreement to say any pictures, any videos, anything they share with you, you're allowed to use in your marketing. That's something that we provide our coaches and trainers inside the academy, all the documents and agreements, so that you don't have to um, 
get sued or you don't get you know somebody telling you to take something down because they didn't agree to it if they've signed an agreement doc saying that they allow you to use it use their stuff then they already committed to it and you really want to do that at the beginning but when somebody signs up after they paid you so that they can um, so that you can have that free will to use their material um, based on their consent and also if you are going to use before and after pictures you might just want to double confirm that with them because some people might not feel comfortable and then you might just need to chop off their head or whatever so a couple of things there when it comes to actually you know getting using the material but yeah making sure that you um, schedule a call with them at the end of their program, use that time to ask some questions. It's really a powerful way because you can take that, that content, that video, that discussion, that interview, you can share it on your social media, share it in your emails, or even use it for your ads. And they're really powerful ads because people then see your results and they would um, wanna talk with you and, and take action as well. So again, really powerful marketing material. The fourth way that you can go and get testimonials is to encourage your clients to share their wins and their successes. Now I'm assuming you have some sort of community or a Facebook group for your clients. If you haven't, I highly recommend you have a group where all of your clients can come into and be supported by you, maybe your team of coaches, but most importantly, each other. Community is one of the most powerful things that can drive success in a program and retention and results. And by encouraging them every week to share their results, win, wins big or small, you then get the ability to get even more testimonials because they're gonna be sharing results. You could take screenshots, you can use that in your ads, in your emails, you can use that however you want. And so the more you encourage them to share their results, the more likely you're going to get more testimonials and success stories to share with other people. And then what you can do, if they've shared a great result and you feel like it's a great time to ask them for a video testimonial, then just send them a message and say, hey, I just saw your post in our group. I'm really amazed by what you've achieved in this period of time. Would you be open to hopping on a quick call and just shooting a testimonial and I'll just ask you a few questions about your experience. And nine times out of 10, they'll say, yes, I'd love to do that because they're on a high, they just shared some amazing results. And so they'll be really open to doing this for you and your and your marketing. So get them whilst their interest is peaked, you have to strike while the iron is hot and whilst they're really interested and they want to do this. And as I said, most people want to do this because they wanna help you if you've helped them, right? It's kind of like, they might have paid you all this money, but that still there's that part of us as a human when we feel this need to reciprocate when somebody has helped us. So if you've helped somebody, they're gonna to want to do this for you and they're not even going to really care if there's any uh, financial gain or benefit to them. Which then leads me on to the fifth and final tip to uh, get testimonials from clients is to offer some sort of incentive or some sort of um, uh, guarantee or bonus or something that's going to make them want to do it, right? And so what I mean here is giving them some sort of money incentive for, for doing the testimonial, if it's a video testimonial, or it can be a gift cards, Amazon or something like that, or it can be extra time and experience, extra time and coaching from you inside your program so that they can still get access to your support, but for an extended period of time as a result of them giving you a testimonial. So a couple of different ways you can do that. And I highly recommend you do this if you feel like you want to give them something back for doing this, if they're not just really open for it. So you might wanna use it as something that you pull out if they say no, maybe they need a bit more of an incentive, or if you're just feeling really kind and generous, you can do that anyway. Um, however you like to reward them. As I said, it could be cash, it could be gift cards. Um, the best one I think is just offering them further support and coaching because they would probably appreciate that more. But if they want cash, they want money, you can you can do that as well because you know that this is gonna serve your marketing longer term. And so it's going to be an investment in your business in an asset that you can continue using to remarket your business. So you shouldn't have to go down that route, but there's five ways right there to get testimonials from clients. As I said, some of the most powerful marketing you will do is with showcasing people's results as it gets people's attention and it shows that what you do works. You probably see ads of mine or videos all over social media showcasing results from students inside the academy because as I said, they're really powerful and it's not just you taking my word, but you're seeing other people talking about it and the success that they've had too. And if you're doing this with your clients, it's going to be really powerful for helping you grow your business because other people are talking about your business and the success that they've had, which then gives other people confidence that, well, if they can do it, 
so can I. And that's what testimonials do. It gives people belief that if somebody else can do it, I can do it, especially when they share their stories and their struggles and their challenges and people can resonate and hear their so hear themselves and other people's stories and that's what inspires them to go and reach out to you and get help. So hope this is helpful. These are tips to help you go out and get testimonials from your clients to then grow your business. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. What's the favorite tip that I shared with you today and the one that you're gonna go and try first to go and get testimonials from your clients. And remember to subscribe to this channel so that you never miss training videos that I release every single Thursday here on the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.